And it's Dr. Thomas Gerber, Associate Editor of Mayo Clinic Proceedings, once more. In this third and final part of the monthly multimedia summary, I will tell you about the online-only features on our website in May 2014 and give you a preview of the June 2014 issue. As you know, video interviews are available with authors of most of the articles mentioned in the earlier parts of this recording and some others as well. These interviews can be found on the home page of Mayo Clinic Proceedings at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org in the lower right-hand corner. Don't forget to check out our interactive Path to Patient feature, which is curated by my associate editor colleague Dr. Laurie Erickson from the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology at Mayo Clinic. This month we're featuring an interesting cholangiocarcinoma specimen. Also on our website, the Mayo Clinic Proceedings Legacy section will feature Drs. Mark Shampoo and Robert Kyle, who have for many years contributed to Mayo Clinic Proceedings historical vignettes featuring eminent figures in medicine that were honored on postage stamps. There are also notes on three historic Proceedings articles published between 1940 and 1945 by Drs. Feldman, Harrell, Hinshaw and Smith, on the use and effects of early antibiotics such as penicillin, sulfonilamide, and streptomycin. Finally, our series entitled Editorial Board and Staff this month features Dr. Keith Burr, an anesthesiologist from Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, who has been our section editor for medical ethics since 2008. Dr. William Lanier, editor-in-chief of Mayo Clinic Proceedings, the entire editorial board and I sincerely hope that you will enjoy these and the other outstanding articles in the May 2014 issue of our journal. We are sincerely grateful for your interest in and continued loyalty to Mayo Clinic Proceedings. As a preview, the next issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings, which will go live on our website on June 2nd, 2014, will contain articles entitled Concise Review for Physicians and Other Clinicians, Postpartum Depression, Youth Onset Type 2 Diabetes, Lessons Learned from the Today Study, and Imaging Pandora's Box, Incidental Findings in Elderly Patients Evaluated for Transcatheter Aortic Valve Replacement. In the meantime, you can watch videos related to our journal content on our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook to stay up to date on online first publications and on breaking news related to our journal. Direct links to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter presences can be found in the upper right hand corner of our homepage. For now, I remain yours until next time. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.